Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitend Pandey and today we are going to discuss Computer Forensics Investigation Process. The learning objectives are After completing this unit, the learner shall be able to explain the process of investigating computer crimes perform initial decision making process assess the situation notify decision makers and acquire authorization review policies and laws related to forensics investigation process and acquire and analyze the data report the investigation Computer forensics is the preservation, identification, extraction, documentation, and interpretation of computer media for evidentiary and or root cause analysis. The computer investigation model shown in the screen organizes the different computer forensic element into a logical flow. The four investigation phases and accompanying processes in the figure should be applied when working with digital evidence. The phases can be summarized as follows. The first phase is assess the situation, analyze the scope of the investigation and the action to be taken. Second phase is acquire the data, gather, protect and preserve the original evidence. Third phase is analyze the data, examine and correlate digital evidence with the events of interest that will help you make a case. And fourth and the last phase is report the investigation gather and organize collected information and write the final report. Before you begin each of the general investigation phase, you should apply initial decision making process. You should determine whether or not to involve law enforcement with the assistance of legal advisors. If you determine that law enforcement is needed, then you need to continue the internal investigation unless law enforcement officials advise you otherwise. Law enforcement might not be available to assist in the investigation of the incident. so you must continue to manage the incident and investigation for later submission to law enforcement. Depending on the type of incident being investigated, the primary concern should be to prevent further damage to the organization by those persons who caused the incident. The investigation is important but the secondary to protecting the organization unless there are national security issues.